Operation RV back here again with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be a how to bring your RV shine back to its originality. And what I mean by that is most RVs, um, they'll have the tin siding or in this case like mine will be fiberglass. So to give a quick rundown, I washed it yesterday, allowed 24 hours just for it to be fully dry. Um, and so what we're gonna do is, um, I simply purchased and picked up this here. It's a little uh, sponge mop, I guess that's what you wanna call it, from Walmart for like six bucks. And next, you wanna have just a little pan. And then this is the magical stuff. Uh, if you're following my channel, you may have not have seen this across the uh, YouTube yet, but uh, this is amazing, amazing stuff. It's by Zep. I got it at Home Depot for like 26 bucks for this gallon. And essentially what we're going to be doing is um, pouring this in there and dipping the, the mop in there, which I'll show you here in a minute. And we're going to go around the entire unit. And um, dry time is about 15 minutes, so I'm sure by the time I go all the way around, um, that'll be 15 minutes. Ideally, five coats of this good stuff. Um, I've heard people do up to eight, and um, it's made it a mirror finish. So this side is more exposed to the sun. As you see, there is a lot of oxidation going on here, guys. A lot. You can see that. And this stuff is supposed to also help bring out the decals. So let's take a look. I'm gonna put on my GoPro headband and uh, let's check it out. Let's see, so. All right, let's go ahead and open her up. Let's see here. This is industrial strength, so I definitely try not to get it on your uh, skin. If you do, just wash it off with, I imagine, just uh, mild soap and water. Uh, some po uh, folks on YouTube uh, call this painting with milk. So let's give a little sponge a little dip. And... Bring it out a little bit. Let's see what we got. I'll go ahead and start right here on this side. Yeah, let's see. We got a little spider action up there. Watch out, buddy. Let's see what it does. And they say if it gets on the the uh, your trim windows, it, it shouldn't hurt. Shouldn't hurt it. Um, the first coat they say does kind of look very streaky and really not that attractive looking but after multiple finished coats um, it should start bringing out this this shine like it is when you buy it from the actual dealership And you don't have to be too liberal, a liberal with it because you can just redip it again. See how this fits perfect. All up in there. All right. And honestly, this is not too too labor intensive. Let me bring my pan over a little closer. off so I bought this brand new back in 2016 and of course she was definitely perfect because brand new no prior ownership but just me and uh, with time and the Sun 
use and stuff like that. You know, these sidings take a lot of abuse with um, the sun and, you know, camping, maybe when you're parking it, hitting some twigs, you know, driving down the highway. Sky's the limit when it comes to um, the physical, I guess, attributes of the unit. So, you might can kind of see it. Let me see if I can go here on the side. It's very hazy. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll come back and give you guys some more detail. Stay tuned. All right, part two here. So my second continuation of the video here. Um, so this of course is the front cap and right now I've already done two coats and the front cap and this right side is probably the, I guess the most shaded area. The left side and in the back is probably the most exposed in the sun. So I will tell you the first coat all the way around as the sponge is going up and down the fiberglass, it was very sticky, very gritty, really not that smooth. And then I noticed on my second way around, uh, it's gliding a lot smoother than it was before. So look real quick, and you see my ladder in this reflection. There's my ladder. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of move over and you can tell in some spots where there's still a little haze and it's still clear. Well, first and foremost, this is the second coat. So let's go ahead and go around to the shaded area. And you can still see, let me get up close here, the brush marks on some of those areas. Um, but the instructions on the bottle says five coats. And some of the YouTube videos and forums I've read even gone up to eight coats, ten coats. So I'm going to go ahead and try three more and uh, see what happens here. Um, this is the most exposed. So you can kind of tell in certain areas uh, the brush or the actual overlap. And I will tell you from experience already, you do not want runs because it hardens and it is not coming off. This is a wax. So the only way to get this removed again is a, a stripper. And by that, I don't mean a room with a pole in it. A lot more work. So this is fine. These are just the foam parts where it's rubbed off. Um, so I'm really anxious to um, see the turnout and I'm very optimistic it's going to work. So I will go ahead and cut this one short for now and I'll plug back in on the fifth cope and see what's how it's working. Uh, so far it's taken me about an hour. I have a lot of cut-ins and cut-outs in my RV which has made it a little bit more time consuming. Windows, doors, and all these exterior components. But uh, I'll be right back. All right, so we're back here. Um, this is the fifth and final coat according to the directions. This is the rear of the actual unit. <clears throat> and I must say, honestly guys, this is no like joke um, or I'm not tied into Zap or sponsored by anybody. But uh, I was kind of getting nervous because I'm a person that likes to take care of their things. And even though you do wash your units quite often, you know, things do tend to fade. I mean, especially in the southern states where it gets hot, the closer you are to the equator, you know, the hotter the sun. So with that and incorporating, um, you know, a fiberglass siding, you know, that's, that's going to be the ultimate goal for the sun is to oxidize and fade. So I am absolutely impressed. Look at, look at that. It's not perfect as far as my application. This is the first time I've done this. So I'll definitely tweak some of my uh, ways that I'm doing it next time. But check this out. 
this was the front of the unit. Y'all remember this? It was completely almost white. This is supposed to be a beige. And not only brought out the fiberglass beige paint, but also the decals. Like I was really kind of mind blown in that sense. Um, wow, it's, it's just night and day. I mean, this video really doesn't do it justice. You'd ha actually have to be here. Uh, word to the wise out there, when you do want to try it, um, most RVs are going to have like your hot water heater, your fridge outlet, speakers, so forth, fresh water fill tanks and all that, windows. I have a lot going on here on this front end. So it took a, a lot longer than expected on my all the way around trip just because you're cutting in all this stuff. And it's okay if you get on your trim. It's not harmful or anything. If it gets on your windows, you can actually allow it to come off. But let's go over here to cap. I want to show you that. Look at that. That is beautiful. You can see the trees cascading in the background. And again, this is five coats the uh, directions on the back of the zep says um, to uh, like every two or three weeks to bring out a buffer again this is floor polish to buff it out so I don't know if bring in because I have an orbital orbital blah, 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 orbital polisher uh, with like a wool cloth I'm wondering I might do a test area and just just check it out in a week or so just to see if it brings back out that shine that it, they say that's what you're supposed to do uh, again this is the shady side so let me see if i can get some action there reflection i mean you can see the street everything here's the street out there all reflected against the unit um extremely nice product very happy i saved myself hundreds of dollars Look at this, guys. It's like a painting. I saved myself hundreds of dollars because uh, I didn't send it into the professional guys. They'd be doing the exact same thing, probably using a different type of product, but the outcome's the same. And if you're an RVer like myself, we got good stuff. We also like applying good materials to our things to keep it lasting forever. And then you can find shortcuts and things like this. Try it out. Um, I, I did a lot of soul searching on YouTube, uh, a lot of reviews and forum discussions that I I read. So I tried it. I'm another statistic, guys. It works. Uh, so again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you all really enjoyed this. Definitely try it. I promise you will not forget my video. And uh, please, if you haven't already, go ahead and write down there. Hit that subscribe button. There will be a, a bell notification. Click all so you can get my future content. Reminders as they do come through. And again, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. God bless. Peace.